Okay, here's one for you. <laughs> I got this as a gift from my son about a year ago. And we're both like wondering, are these real coins in here or are they just fake? But um, you might call me, um, I don't know, maybe I'm stupid, I don't know, but because I've never had anything like this before. But when you get in, zoom in on them. It's hard to tell. I mean, seriously. It's really hard to tell. They look real. And there's only one way to find out. And that is to tear it apart. He picked this up at a, I believe, a estate sale. But anyway, as you can see, I've been busy. I took out a whole bunch of staples. And now I'm going to flip it over and the truth will soon be untold or told got one last staple here and now I can flip this over oh my gosh I just can't wait to see okay of course we got green paper let's see I'm gonna have to get on in over here I'm trying to do this one-handed oh boy come on I didn't do all of them because I don't want to have oh what is on the back of this look at that Okay, let's see what does it say. It's all upside down. I'm going to turn that around so we can read that first. Okay, the back of it says... Some serial numbers. State of Liberty Medallion Collection. Investment amount $19.95. Wow, bizarre. Okay, but anyway, let's see. Here we go again. Flip this over. Get my nail under here. And look what's in there. Okay, here we go. I'm going to take out the main paper. Take it out. Oh, wow, you guys. Guess what? They're real. <laughs> I really thought it was fake. They're actually real. See? That's awesome. Well, mystery solved. Well, it looks like they almost, I don't know, they're really shiny. I'm sure they shined them up for this picture. But that's cool. I really, truly thought these were just going to be like foil. So, all right, I'm happy. So that means I got a lot of buffaloes here. Well, I gotta put that back right. And that's something. I wonder what year they all are then. Let's see what do we got here. 37, 30s. Oh, they're all 37s. It looks like 36. I'm trying to. It's not focusing for me, but I'm sure it will in a minute here. Looks like basically 37s and 36s. Let's see what this one is if I pop one of these out. If I can pop one out. I'm trying to pop it out. There we go. Ooh, not cool. Got a little bit of glue. Oh yeah, no dates. The flipped ones are going to be no dates. Come on, focus. There we go. I think all the flipped ones are going to uh, be no dates, but yeah, I'll stick her back in there. So the mystery solved. So if you ever get one of these <laughs> or find one of these at a wherever, a coin shop, estate sale or whatever, they actually really are real coins. So yeah, I'm going to have to put it back in the frame. Wow, look at this. I didn't even realize this. It says all this stuff too. SSS Titanic. A ship to remember? Whoa. Look at this. That's bizarre. It's like, was there something else in here before? I am just like, wow. That's it. You know, that, and that paper, and then that came out. I don't see nothing else. This must just be here to hold everything. I don't want to peel it up because then maybe all the, the um, nickels will fall out. But wow, mystery solved. Now I know this was inside of here. 
and they are actually real buffalo nickels. They're not foil. All right. Thanks for watching.